Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Viewers new and old, I hope you're all doing fantastic. We're in Manchester today. We've got a very, very cool video planned. We're at, at on our way to a place called Hash. Um, it becomes highly recommended. Heard big things. Really excited to get there. It is half past 12. Bang on. It's early in the day. This could be exceptional. Come with us and let's try it out. So we, I think we've just driven past it about four times. Looking at the map, it's actually in, was it the Bre Brewchimp? Brewchimp, yeah. Brewchimp bar. So parked up legally uh, across the street. Um, it's time to go and eat. Let's go. I'm really excited for this. This nice little row of shops here, Callum. Maybe get all these on for people. Yeah. Nice little suburban street. Here we go, look. Here we go. There we have it. Yep. Can't see the logo, but it's there. Heard, heard big things about this. Foodies, like and follow if you haven't already. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Can you smell that? Can you smell it? I can smell it, yeah. It smells good. It's like, it's like my house. Nobody gets out. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's up? This is Callum. Hiya. So, have we got a, uh, have we got a venue? Yes. I'm so excited for this. So, what would you recommend on the menu? So, I have a special that's not on the menu yet. Okay. Which Ooh. is a croissant burger. Oh. With mustard mayo, pastrami, and cheese. Wow. And a burger patty in there as well? Oh, yeah, sorry. Two burger patties. Oh, with the pastrami as well? Yeah. Ooh. That sounds amazing. And what out of these burgers as well? What is like the, the best one? So uh, a lot of people go for the Texas Waco, um, which the name derives from the small town in Texas okay. where uh, Dr. Pepper was founded. Oh, wow. So, Hence the Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. Exactly. Um, so the Texas Waco, uh, a lot of people like the basic pig in the big cheese, which is just a cheese and bacon burger. Um, so I think we should get the Texas Waco. Okay. Is this, is this your concept? This is. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing it for? So I've been a chef for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, this is only since October last year. Oh, wow. How's it gone so far? Amazing. Really good. Yeah. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, lots of learning curves. It's the first business that I've owned. Oh, nice. Is it going all right so far? Yeah, definitely. You happy? Yes. Definitely. Stressed, but happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the crack with this bar? So obviously, have you just, you've taken the kitchen? So I have the kitchen. Yep. And the bar runs independently. Oh, wow. Some great owners, they've got four brew chimps. That's all do individual amazing oh, nice. food, so, yeah. Cool. Um, well, that's a good story. Okay, if anyone watching this now, if they, if they like the food, obviously, where can they get, do they have to come here? Do they, do they take we do uh, Deliveroo, uh, we do Uber Eats, and then there's a local one called Shokal. Um, okay, there you, so you go. Get them on all the deliveries. Which is the best um, for you, in terms of your rates? The Shokal. local one? Sure. There you go, people. What they've, just, they've just been on Dragon's Den as well. What is it called? Shokal. Shokal? Yeah. There you Shop go. Shop local. Shokal. There you go. Shokal. Um, okay. That's enough of the promotion. We need to get down to food now, I suppose, okay. don't we? Can we get some tendons as well, please? Yeah, absolutely. That sweet... Pineapple sweet chilli sounds nice. And some maybe some fries. Yep. Some loaded fries. Best ones you've got, maybe. Whatever you okay. recommend. Okay. Uh, I've got a lot of feedback on our sumo fries. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got two. We'll have two burgers, fries, and the chicken. Sounds like a sounds like a feast to me. All right, cool. Thanks, brother. Should we, should we, should we out the front? Wherever, wherever you're warmest. All right. Yeah. Inside then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, If the, if the food tastes as good as he talks and it looks on paper, I think we're in for a winner. The um, croissant burger, Callum, what are you saying about that? Interesting, I've never had a croissant. I've had a donut burger, but never a croissant okay. burger. Um, I don't know if I'm making this up. People, please correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, the most Instagrammed food picture last year was the croissant burger that someone did in London. Okay. I think that was quite famous. It was a special that got put on, and the Instagram food blogger world went mental for it. 
will a croissant hold up to the juice and the weight of a burger? Two smash patties and pastrami and sauce. We'll find out. I'm so excited. People, over to you, what do you think? A bridge too far? Maybe. I'm doubtful, actually. As I'm standing now, I'm doubtful. Well, can, they, can they pull it off? Maybe you'll be eating your words. I hope I am. Price point. Probably where you'd expect for like something gourmet, Callum. Mm -hmm. Gourmet chef specials, like 9.50, around the 12 mark. Yeah, fries. Loaded fries for four quid. Oh, I think that's, that's really that's good. That's real good, yeah. yeah. For a load of fries. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, about right, isn't it? If yeah. the food's good, you don't mind. We're in a nice area as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope it's good. We'll find out. <laughs> Wow, Callum. First things first, before we get to the burgers, these smell amazing. That teriyaki, seaweed, oriental aroma has just punched me in the face of bringing these out. And then you get onto this. There's the tenders in the daylight, look. With that sweet, chili, pineapple, like, from what I'm seeing so far, this definitely doesn't feel normal. Burger number one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Double, sort of kind of, they're like chunky smashed patties. Yeah, and we've got, thick. Yeah, and we've got that Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. Oh, that means this is the burger. Um, Callum. Are you... <laughs> I suppose you guys have already seen this. Yes, they should have. Looks good. Looks nice and held up. Uh, as well. Let me. Can I? Uh, I can't think. I just need to get into this one. Look at the caram. Just, I mean. Wow. How is the bun? Cross on. Well, it's a cross on. It, it does feel soft, but. But it's not the, too the soft. Stru the wasp nest type structure is all uh, horizontal, it's, it's sort of, uh, it's facing the grain. So I suppose that structural integrity, man's, talk, man's out here talking like an architect. The integrity of it should be good, but let's see if it flakes and, oh, my mind is scrambled. Here we go. Oh. Yes. It works. It works. It's fun. Did he say this is going on as a special? Yep. Don't know when, but yeah, he said it's coming out soon. All right, let's get down to business. The pastrami, the sauce, the meat. Fantastic. If you're watching this, by the way, and haven't subscribed or liked this video, Please. This is why we do it. A croissant, as a bun. Let's just actually try the croissant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Croissants have got more structural integrity than I thought. They do get stuffed with lots of stuff. That sounds really good. Lots yeah. of stuff. Chocolate and all that. Yeah. So they yeah. stand up.
ladies and gents, I present to you croissant burgers. Whatever next. Pancake burgers. That is a whole different vibe in your mouth. Do you know why? Do you know why it works? It's so buttery. So buttery, flaky, sweet, but it definitely has the structure. My biggest reservation has been uh, ironed out there. And so, do you know what? It's a bit of, I need to stop, stop, stop. You got the forks? Sorry. Wow. There's a fork. What a dude. What a dude. Here we go, Cal. Let's try some of these fries. Teriyaki, the seaweed. The onion, kale. Sriracha as well. It uses a uh, local source manufacturer we've met before. Great guy, loves what he does. I've actually tried his sauces before. Just fantastic. This feels all very natural. Just feels great. Um, I'm getting uh, nice heat coming through. But I'm getting like really nice food served up in takeaway fast food boxes. Absolutely love it. Can I say, that's a big portion as well for four quid. It's not a small portion. It's good food as well, Callum. Teriyaki is sweet. Sriracha, warm, spicy. Got the crispy onions. That kale bring in some texture. And here we go. These for these tenders, look. They look beautiful. They do look good. They wouldn't look out of place in a museum. Why a museum? Mate, in an art muse museum. Art gallery. Art gallery. <laughs> Museum's <Sorry. old> <laughs> <laughs> You knew what I meant though, did you? Kind of. <clears throat> Sorry, people. So, as our friend Richard would say, look at the viscosity of that sauce. Clinging to the outside, not dripping off. Perfect. Pineapple sweet chili. It's just f***ing good. He said, he's not, people moan about pineapple and pizza, it doesn't go, but he's like, it definitely goes with sweet chili sauce. I think um, pineapple is a superpower, bro. It's like this fibrous, sweet, succulent fruit. I think it could go on so much. It's people need pizza, to, uh, it. it's not on pizza, right? No. I love it on pizza. Blasphemous. We've got great crunch. The sauce hasn't compromised <clears throat> the outer cozen at all. And guess what? The chicken on the inside is moist, it's delicious, and very tender. This really is looking good. And, not, and last but not least, funny enough, this could be the star of the show, Callum. This is the Dr. Pepper brisket burger with that sort of crispy bacon. Wow. What's that pink sauce underneath? Do you know? I don't actually know. All right, either way, it's bringing a lot of color to the, to the room. Toasted bun on top as well. Good Lord, I'm excited about this. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. I've had a lot of burgers in my life. They're very different. The okay. patties are smashed. They have all the qualities of a smashed patty, but it still retains the juice, the flavor. Bit of a hybrid type style. What's the sauce? Can you work it out? No. Not yet. Is it like a beetroot mayo or something? No, I don't know. This Dr. Pepper brisket, look. Dr. Pepper barbecue brisket.
What an amazing young man. What an amazing product. What a fantastic day to be alive. Um, chicken strips, faultless. Fun, faultless and tasty. The chips, aromatic, romantic. Right. You could take these home and wake up the neighbors. You could, you could, Callum. Okay. And that might well be uh, the masterpiece of 2023. Oh. First time I've had one. Buttery, indulgent, tasty, that pastrami, that salty meat there, bringing a bit of oomph to all that sweetness go going on. Then you got this bad boy, the classic Texas burger. I'm like really, just really happy. People, if you've enjoyed this video, like and follow for more. This is the time in the video where we have to give out a score. Um, yeah. What? That is. <laughs> um, this is what Food Review Club uh, always is and always will be the quest to uncover these little places. Yeah, we visit a few commercials every now and again for a new product here and there, but this is what gets us off. This is the heartbeat of the page. This is what we love doing. I feel honored to have featured this, these guys on the page today. Um, time for a score. Wow, this is, this is gonna be good. Um, Where are you going? Does it make the elite category? Does hash today for me getting the nines. I think it does. Oh. Fun, flavoursome, inventive. Okay. I'm gonna give this a 9.2 <whistles> out of 10, all things considered. And that's a big score. Those of you watching now, do you agree? And look on the field. The scary thing for me is, fairly new business, experienced chef. He's only been going five months, if that. I'd like to revisit this in three, four, five, six months, because with a little bit more finesse, and a bit more time on the pass, I think you could be looking at a world beater here. Oh. Even the chicken. That chicken stand alone in any league I've eaten in. Fantastic. Ladies and gents, if you've enjoyed this video, please get in the comments, let us know, say hello, let us know where you're watching from. This is your community as well. This is your channel. We're just the, uh, the mouthpiece doing their work. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. But for now, that. That's a review. See us big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?